Um, excuse me. Yes? How much is the blue dress on the mannequin? Oh, um, it's around 5,000. It's the only one we have left. And it's the smallest size. Oh, that's okay, I'm a model. I'll probably fit into it. Do you want it with the fur and shoes? Mmm, yeah, I think it looks really hot. Oh, okay, great. Well, just go over to my colleague and she'll help you. Thanks. Oh my gosh, Valerie, hey! Hey, Scarlett, how have you been? I've been really good. Oh, I'm absolutely loving the new reformed shop. Vivian did such a good job with the place. Yeah, I love what Vivian's done with the place. Especially after the party. She's been working really hard. Yeah, totally. So, like, does she know that you know what we know? You know? Oh, I haven't spoken to Natasha since Nicole told me the news. I've been staying with Samantha since I heard about the news. Oh, well, I mean, it's like a hundred times better for you because now you can be with Samantha and you don't really have to deal with that rat over there. Anyways, I was actually supposed to meet Nicole here, so I guess I'll just browse the shop until she gets here. It's really nice seeing you. Yeah, you too. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, Miss Vivian. Good afternoon, Miss Vivian. Oh, hello, Valerie. I just wanted to thank you girls so much for coming to the event. It means a lot to me. So what do you think of the new boutique? I really love it. It looks really elegant. I like how you took inspiration from the event we were in. Yeah, it's super chic. Oh, thank you so much, girls. Natasha, when you're done doing whatever it is you're doing, please step by my office. Yes, of course, Miss Vivian. Perfect. Valerie, I'm going to need you to work on the cash register while I go speak to Vivian. Please make sure everything is going according to plan, okay? Yeah, of course. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> You're definitely getting what you deserve. The newly renovated office looks really beautiful, Vivian. Thank you. You know, I had a lot on my mind and I... <laughs> well then, now that I've had time to calm down, we can get started with our conversation. <laughs> what the hell? Hurts doesn't it? Well, it's not that different from how you've hurt me. Vivian, I I never meant to hurt you. It's just, I was gonna explain everything now. Oh, were you? To be quite honest with you, I don't really give a shit about whether or not you fucked Sebastian. It's the fact that I find out that he has been paying you while I've also been paying you as my employee. <laughs> and best of all is that I find out about it from my best friends. Now, that is beyond humiliating, not only for me, but for my career. I'm so sorry that I- No, no, no need for your pathetic apology. You can go now, that's all. No, Miss Vivian, please. I really needed the money and- <laughs> I look up to you so much. <laughs> Natasha, stop it before I call security. Please leave my boutique <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Valerie, once Natasha's gone, please close the shop and enter my office. Miss Vivian, I've closed the boutique, but Scarlett and Nicole insisted they wanted to see you. What happened? Uh, well, if you must know, I mean, it's pretty obvious considering we saw Natasha crying. Yeah, Natasha like totally got fired, right? I never said that. Ladies, have a seat. Vivian, you can't let that girl keep working here. Yeah, what Natasha did was really messed up. Would the both of you just shut up for a second? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Ugh, it's not your fault. I'm still trying to process everything. I completely understand why you're upset, Miss Vivian. 
It's okay. I don't mean to be rude, Valerie, but how the heck would you know how I am feeling right now? Because Sebastian did the exact same thing to me years ago. Valerie, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Valerie, I could care less about him cheating. Do you think I could stand to be in a committed relationship with that horny buffoon? We're only business partners. His family's invested a ton in my company. Other people just assumed we were a couple because we're usually together at events, networking. So no, I was never with him. So he was just your accessory. That's like so girl boss. Everything makes so much more sense now. He was pretty useless anyway. Wait, so if you and Sebastian weren't a couple and Natasha's been seeing Sebastian, why did she leave the store crying if it's not an issue? Because she thinks she got fired. Vivian, is she fired or not? Scarlett, what kind of question is that? Of course she's fired. But her contract doesn't end for another month. She left crying because I shouted at her quite a bit, but she deserves it. I mostly got angry because she was actually using Sebastian for monetary gain. And that was absolutely disgusting to me. I think she could have always come to me for financial advice or for a raise. She didn't need to go find some man to pay her. Oh, okay, perfect. So she is getting fired, but I still have to work with her for another month? Yes, I'm afraid so. You're going to have to suck it up. I'm not too thrilled about it either. Now, if you'll excuse me, ladies, I have to get going. Please leave the boutique. Oh my gosh, yeah, of course. Thanks for clarifying everything. Yeah, we're always here to support you, Vivian. Yes, of course we'll get going, Miss Vivian. Ciao, ladies. Ugh, thanks for bringing me to the lounge, girls. I seriously needed a drink after hearing all of that. I still can't believe I'm going to be working with her for another month. <laughs> well, on the bright side, Valerie, at least you know she's like a really shitty friend. And now you have us. <clears throat> Scarlett makes a good point. It's really hard to find good friends. I know working with her for another month is going to be a bit hard, but once it's over, she's gone. So just think about that. Yeah, you girls are right. I mean, Kyle's still one of my good friends. I trust him. Does he know about what Natasha did? I honestly don't know what Kyle's been up to. I feel like he's just been super busy with work. But I have told Andrew about it since I work at the city cafe with him. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Andrew. <sighs> Poor guy. How do you take the news? I mean, he was obviously pissed for a while, but then we got together. What? Oh, that was fast. It was part of our plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he deserved to know what Natasha was really doing behind his back. So I took the opportunity to tell him. It's not my fault. I'm hot and he got interested and we hooked up. <laughs> I think it's so funny how you girls say you planned all of this. <laughs> You're cute. It's obvious I've planned it, especially with the help of Nicole. And Ruby. How do you think Vivian knows about all of this? Scarlet, you planned all of this? Oh my gosh, baby, you came! Mm -hmm. No, that was just a joke. It was just something we were talking about. Yeah, but you said you told Vivian about all of this. Natasha could get fired. Uh, and why do you care? It's none of your business or ours. She's done a lot of bad things, and you know that. Yeah. Um, anyways, we can talk about it over dinner. Um, hey girls. Ugh, this shit is this shit way is too awkward. awkward. Hey, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> well, I'll catch up with you girls another time. Ciao. Uh, bye, girls. <laughs> bye. Bye. <sighs> I wonder how that conversation's gonna go. Anyways, honestly, I think it's good you girls told Vivian the truth about her. It was bound to happen. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You should know, when Scarlett wants something, she goes and gets it. In the end, Andrew was the prize. Do you think they'll last? 
Honestly, no idea. So, are you still gonna be living with Natasha? Ugh, I don't even wanna talk about that. I don't know yet. At the moment, I'm staying with Samantha for a bit, but I don't think I'll be there very long. We've only been dating for a few weeks and I think it'll freak her out if I ask to move in for a while. I guess I'll have to find a place of my own eventually. I better get going. I work pretty early tomorrow. Do you want to meet up at a cafe after? Yeah, sure. All right. See you. Bye. Bye, Valerie. Natasha, are you home? Oh, thank God. I can grab a couple things. Huh? To Valerie from Natasha. What's this? Dear Valerie, I'm sorry for everything I've done. Here's some cash. I'll be gone for a while. What the fuck? She seriously thinks she can just fix everything with money. Where is she even going?